I poured the extra gravy over here so that I could get some more gravy. And it is so freaking hot. All right, here we go. I dipped it into the gravy and that bitch just fell off. I mean that, you guys didn't hear that. <clears throat> you guys, please try this. Please, I'm begging you, please. All right, you guys, let's dive right into this. I'm trying to get this out to you guys today. So we're just gonna jump right into it. I should be showing, I should be showing the ingredients on the screen. Today I'm just gonna be making a, I'm not gonna say just gonna be making because this shiznit the shiz was bomb you guys it was so bomb and today i am making my biscuits in a food processor because um for multiple reasons that i do explain later on in the video i just don't typically use a food processor when uh blending any of my doughs so i like to use my hands And I put the flour and the baking powder in there first. And yes, I did use quite a lot of baking powder because I wanted some very high biscuits today. They turned out perfect. Well, I'm, I'm, they weren't very, very high. I mean, they're they're reasonable, you guys, but um, they were decently sized and I love this recipe. So I did two tablespoons and a half a teaspoon. That is a lot, but they turned out amazing. I blitzed the flour, salt, and um, baking powder together before I add my wet. And when I add my butter, I add in one at a time so they can, so it can be incorporated in the flour. And then I add my buttermilk and you see that I only added enough till I started to see it become more and more lumpy. I was just very worried that it was going to um, over process and it was going to be too much liquid. So what I end up doing is taking it out and placing it on my counter and then adding the rest of the buttermilk to it until it comes together and that is the key to biscuits my key to biscuits is don't over mix don't overwork cold butter extremely cold butter um, always only add liquid until it just comes together and even then when I was doing this I was still worried that I was overworking it um, but like I said they came out beautiful flaky buttery but I definitely think I'm gonna stick to doing it by hand. That's just a personal preference. And you guys, when I was like cutting these out, I thought they were gonna come out way prettier than they did. Um, <laughs> And then I like towards the end, obviously I'm not gonna waste any of my biscuit dough. So I like form the extras, like I've always done this. Um, there might be a better way, but I always form like the little extra and just kind of make it into a biscuit and then it's ugly, <laughs> like you'll, you guys will see. look at that they look like monster biscuits uh, luckily they didn't lack in flavor but anyway halfway through the baking process and by the way this was at 425 and I think for a total of 15 minutes halfway through the baking process I do um, brush melted butter on them to help it like you know get that nice brown crust And now I'm going to be making the gravy. I was not recording cutting my bacon, so we're gonna jump right into just cutting the onion and the garlic. And this is optional. I just like a little bit more. I like a little bit more going on in my gravy. Um, I never trust, I never trust going out and getting biscuits and gravy at a restaurant because one, 
if the gravy is too white I just know it's not gonna be good like just pure white gravy and you see like little chunks of sausage that's how I know there's like no levels of flavor to it um, but with my gravy I like to add levels of flavor and obviously I would have did sausage I like it with sausage better but um, I had bacon like I said these were my leftovers from the previous video so I'm just gonna be dumping my bacon in and cooking that off until I can get it as crispy as possible because as soon as I add it back to the liquid um, it will not be crispy anymore I try to drain off as much as I can from the bacon pieces uh, because I will be using this oil to make my gravy and then I saute my onions for a couple minutes and then I add my garlic and saute that only until fragrant you guys know how it goes and then after that I add two tablespoons of flour and I cook the flour for a little bit for a couple minutes you don't want that floury taste so you have to cook it for a couple minutes Then I add my bacon back and I add my milk. And I only add two cups. And if I feel like the gravy I'm making, if it needs more, I will add it more depending on how thick. so now I'm gonna move on from my chicken as you guys know I had the leftover chicken um, from yesterday's video so if you did not see me fry that chicken go back to that recipe and I will show you how I fry it make sure I press in the flour after I dip it again so you can get those nice crunchy bits of course and I fry these I think it was 350 who knows the true temperature of this fryer I feel like it's lying to me I should probably temp it every time but I don't I just kind of wing it And I just fry those until they are just golden brown, y'all. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. And now we're just going to assemble them. Um, I don't think I have very much to say, but look at how beautiful those biscuits are. And secondly, um, I use Tillamook sharp cheddar slices. And oh my God. Um, anyway, if you guys are still here, leave me some cheese emojis. <laughs> Assuming I'm gonna run out of, I'm gonna run out of emojis. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna run out of emojis. Anyway, I love you guys so much. I say I love you so much all the time because I don't know. You guys are family, and since I'm pretty much have no friends. You guys are my friends and family so um, i will see you in the eating part and make sure you give a big thumbs up and i will see you guys right about now hey you guys 
welcome back to my channel. So I am back. <sighs> Got cotton in my nose. Anyway, you guys, I am back today with a breakfast sandwich. I had left a verse from yesterday's feast, which you guys saw from yesterday. So I decided to make a breakfast sandwich. Anyway, um, let's get started. I am so scared to actually eat this because I have a white shirt on, very bold, very bold, okay? And I poured the extra gravy over here so that I could get some more gravy. And it is so freaking hot. All right, here we go. Alright, mm. <laughs> all right. you guys need to make this tomorrow morning, even if you didn't have, I'm going to put a little hot sauce on here you guys because I have been in love with this lately. This habanero sauce, it's so hot. And it really just like, it really, it's fucking hot. Mm. other one. Isn't that look good? Uh-oh. I dipped it into the gravy and that bitch just fell off. I mean that, you guys didn't hear that. <clears throat> You guys, you guys, oh my gosh, that is so good. <sighs> Ice cold water out. Oh, my teeth are sensitive. Okay, I'm gonna talk a little bit. That is so freaking bomb! You guys, please try this. Please, I'm begging you, please. I know, like, when I was making the biscuits, I was like, I don't know, man. You know, because I was trying them for the first time. I'm not trying the biscuits for the first time, but I was trying a new method, and I'm almost always use my hands to make biscuits because I feel like I'm putting the love into it. I'm an, I'm an energy person, okay? If you guys haven't figured that out about me already, I feel like when you work with food with your hands, you just put in the love to it. And so I almost always make biscuits with my hands. So I was nervous using my blender, but somebody left a comment and was like, can you try to make dough in a blender or whatever? And so I was like, you know what? I think I'll make my biscuits in that today. And it is super hot today. So I figured if I made them in the, um, my food processor that my hands wouldn't heat up the butter and melt it because that is huge that is a huge deal when you're making biscuits the whole point of putting cold butter into it is so that when it bakes the butter just kind of melts into your um your biscuits and it just is so like fluffy and buttery and so i just decided to do that just eating the biscuits um they are really really tender you guys Oh, that might be too bright. They're really tender. We got a plus on that one. Anyway, yeah. I'm going to eat a little more. Because I want to talk to you guys about some stuff. But I forgot. I sort of forgot what I wanted to you guys, what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Mmm.
This stuff is has a coat. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do another dip in the gravy. Put some bacon on this one. Mmm. so good <clears throat> I'm gonna leave that one blank though because that's probably gonna be my dinner um, also I did want to point out that I am super sorry about the audio you guys <clears throat> I bought a mic and that one I didn't like and so I returned it and then I stuck with my lab mic and I don't like it I think I accidentally got something in it and it's not working so I need to get another mic and I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that you know for the type of videos that I'm filming so bear with me on the mic you guys um, I know it freaking sucks but you guys are some troopers you guys are here with me I feel like thick and thin we're like family over here and that also reminds me that um what was a couple videos back I said we needed a family name and the most requested name or suggested name was Lou Crew this was suggested to me a while ago but i didn't know and the more that i kind of like say it out loud i'm like i actually kind of like that so right now i'm gonna link up a poll right now if you guys are all for a lou crew hit yes if you guys are like eh hit no but if you're gonna say no leave a comment down below and tell me what you think the family name should be i don't know <laughs> it's gonna be kind of weird to, to have a name for us but um i hope you guys try this i wanted to get a quick video out for you guys look at that that is just so beautiful oh I really really want to eat this right now but I can't I can't Got a little biscuit from over here and eat biscuit mm. Mm. anybody who's worried about the germs in the bowl I am the only one eating this so I won't need to take antibiotics or have anybody else take antibiotics. Anyway, I think that might be a wrap. <clears throat> I wanted to do a quick video for you guys. And also, so I left a I left a question on my community tab on if you guys wanted not wanted on if you guys or I left a question on my community tab on what your guys's favorite things are from Taco Bell and reason being is because obviously you guys already know I'm probably gonna recreate all of your guys's favorite YouTube or all of your guys's favorite Taco Bell items I got so many um, what was it a uh, cheesy gorditas chalupas crunch wrap crunch wrap has to be my favorite and i think i'm gonna do cinnamon cinnabon delights from scratch so if you guys would like to see a taco bell feast creation taking your guys's favorite ideas your favorite foods and me creating them leave a comment below smash that like button right now if you guys can get this video to a thousand likes i think a taco bell feast might be what's next on the menu anyway you guys I love you so much I am gonna wrap it up here because this is supposed to be a short video if you guys are still here leave me some bacon emojis down in the comments below I love you so much so so much